A dread chill descends upon the house, and mist rises in lazy coils from the floor. A voice clatters through the air. I must rest. Put my soul to rest, or die. Right now, set aside a number of triangular knowledge roll tokens equal to the number of players. Set aside an equal number of triangular sanity roll tokens and a pentagonal item token representing the corpse. What you know about the bad guys. The traitor is trying to summon a ghost before you do. You win when you either defeat the ghost after the traitor takes control of it, or you bury the ghost bones after you summon it. How to summon the ghost. You are racing against the traitor to summon the ghost. To summon it, you must conduct a seance. Each hero can attempt a knowledge roll or sanity roll of five or higher, but only while he or she is in the pentagram chamber. During your turn, you can only attempt one of these rolls. Each time one of these rolls succeeds, put a knowledge roll or sanity roll token, depending on the trait used, in the room where the haunt was revealed. When the heroes have placed a number of those tokens equal to half the number of players rounding down, they've summoned the ghost. If the heroes succeed with their summoning before the traitor does, they control the ghost. If the traitor completes the seance first, he or she gains control of the ghost. If you summon the ghost first, ghost declaration, say this out loud, bury my bones. Put the ghost token in the room where the last seance roll succeeded. It stays there until you lose control of it. Set up the turn damage track with a plastic clip on number one. At the end of each subsequent turn of the player who completed the seance, advance the clip to the next number along the track. You have until the start of turn five to bury the ghost bones. Once during each hero's turn, if he or she is in the attic, bedroom or master bedroom, the hero can attempt a knowledge roll of five or higher to find the bones. If you succeed, put the corpse token on your explorer's character card. Carry the corpse token to the crypt or the graveyard. While you are in one of those rooms, you can attempt a knowledge roll of five or higher once during your turn to find the right gravestone and bury the bones. While you're doing this, the ghost can't attack anyone. If you fail to bury the bones by the start of turn 5, the traitor gains control of the ghost, following the instructions in the traitor's tone. If this happens, burying the bones is no longer enough to placate the ghost. Now you must destroy it. Special attack rules. No one can attack until after the seance has been completed. While the traitor controls the ghost, you can only make sanity attacks against it, and only if you possess the ring or you are in the pentagram chamber. A successful sanity attack destroys the ghost. If the ghost attacks a hero and is defeated, it is not harmed.